Hi students, it's time for art again. Um, first we're going to start with Godzilla of the Week. So this is what I found. This is uh, Mothra. Mothra from the 2005 movie, I think it was from Godzilla vs. Final Wars. You can see he's f furry. He's soft. He's not like the... Uh, He's not like the scary new version in the new movie, in the American movies, but he's pretty cool. Um, this is a toy. And I just dug him out because he was on top of all my other Godzilla toys that I'm running out of Godzillas to show you. So but that was Mothra. Mothra usually kind of helps Godzilla sometimes. I don't remember what happened. I'll have to watch Godzilla vs. Final Wars again. I forgot what happened in that movie. It's been a while. It's been like 15 years since I've seen that. Anyways, that's it. That's it for Godzilla of the Week. So now let's get on to the art portion of our project, of our video. Hi, sixth graders. Um, today we're going to be working on an oil pastel drawing. We have three weeks to work on this. And this is inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. She's a modern artist that was very popular for drawing humongous, beautiful flowers. And they became, they were so big um, that they be, kind of became abstracted. Like she zoomed in on the real close to, like this is like one flower. She zoomed in, she would zoom in super close on one flower and you'd see all this detail and it would, it would look very abstracted. And she was, um, she was very popular for that. Um, the funny thing about Georgia O'Keeffe though, was she was very serious painter. Like you think, oh, she's probably, you know, not very serious. Cause all she just painted was just flowers. No, no. She was a very somber, serious, modern artist. And, uh, she probably didn't like it that everyone, everyone probably pestered her about like, Hey, like love your flowers. She probably got tired of hearing that after a while because she liked to paint different things too, like landscapes and she painted a lot of interesting things, um, but she became so popular for painting flowers. I just know modern artists, they, you know, they don't want to be defined so simply. They want to be, you know, really complex. And anyways, um, but Georgie O'Keeffe, she was very popular for painting big flowers and big flowers are very beautiful and they're kind of fun. I like more than just the beautiful flower, I do like the abstract nature. Like, I like this weird, it almost looks like a black hole, you know? Or it's like this amazing, weird thing, you know? It's like an alien life form with this weird thing, you know? So I enjoy the abstract qualities of, of her work. And I think she did too. <laughs> I think she liked the abstraction. Anyways, um, that's enough about her. But this is the finished, this is the finished project of what we're going to do. We start off with, this paper, right? It looks weird. They're like, what? I, I drew, I drew kind of the petal and then we're going to, um, we're going to use, um, well for remote students, your remote students, my sixth graders, um, at school, we're going to use paint and then maybe oil pastels, but at home, I, I'm not sending home paint. You're just going to use only oil pastels. So we're going to do this in oil pastels at home and, um, it'll look great. So I did this, I did this whole thing in oil pastels. So it looks good. You can do it. A lot of yellow. So hopefully you don't run out of yellow. But anyways, I'm going to move this to the side, but it's going to end up looking like this. You don't have to glue it to the black. You just need to do it like this. And then we'll, uh, we'll take, we'll take it from there. We'll cut it out and put it on the black background. So it looks great. But anyways, that's it. That's the finished one. Okay. I'm going to move that away. So where do we begin? Well, you got this paper. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to write your name on your paper and make sure you don't write it on this part because that's going to be cut away. So you probably want to write it like on the back over here. So the first thing you want to do is put your name on your paper. So you put like your name and then put the, the um, classroom that you're in. So if you're in like Vanderdusen, you'll do VD, circle it. If you're in Vanderkirk, VK, circle it. Woodhead, W, circle it. And Corver, K, circle it, right? So that way it helps me when I'm looking at all your papers, it helps me quickly organize. Okay, these are all the Corver projects. Here's all the Vander Dusen projects, right? It helps me a lot. Okay, before we even get to this, let's talk about using oil pastels. There's a couple. I got, so what you want to do is you want to get a scratch paper. It can just be a copy paper. This is like a printer paper, right? Or do you, any kind of blank paper. 
it can even be a notebook paper if, if, uh, if that's all you have, but, but a, a blank copy paper works the best. So let's talk about using soft strokes and hard strokes, and then we'll also talk about cleaning. We'll talk about cleaning your oil pastels because your oil pastels are probably disgusting, especially your white. Your white is probably disgusting and needs to be cleaned. We'll talk about that. So, but with this um, blank paper, we can, um, let's talk, first let's talk about brush strokes or whatever, strokes. Um, the first thing is you want to go very lightly. So there's two different kinds, lightly. So here's lightly. And like, <laughs> that one wasn't very light. Here, this is light. And it's like I'm barely pressing down. Now this looks dark because it's red on white, so you can see it pretty well. But that's, I'm barely, I'm like barely pressing it down. Oh, and let's talk about holding your oil pastel. You don't go like this. It's not like holding a pencil. <laughs> Especially if your oil pastel is this small. Watch, I'll show you. <laughs> some of you, some of you sadly got an oil pastel that's this big. <laughs> like the brown. Is this brown or red? Oh, I think it's red. This is crimson. So how do you hold this thing? You don't hold it like a pencil because that's just not going to work. You hold it like this. You use your, your you know, fingers and then your thumb to hold it kind of like this. And, it, and you, you're going to use your whole hand and your whole arm. You can't see me, but it's going to be like this. I'm using, I'm not going like this. No, that'll like, that's impossible. Use your whole hand and you're going to do broad strokes. Okay. And if you go lightly, if you go lightly, barely press down, I'm barely pressing down, you'll get light strokes. So here's the difference. Here's a light stroke. And then sometimes you will need a solid hard stroke. You press down hard. So that's the difference. I mean, you can tell. So soft, right? So do this. Experiment on a piece of paper, okay? And you hold it like this. Thumb, two fingers, and use your whole hand. You don't, you don't go like this. That's impossible. You use your whole hand and you use your whole arm. You can't see it, but I'm <laughs> using my old arm, right? Okay, so soft. Now, there's another thing that happens to your oil pastel. Sometimes you get a flat edge, a flat edge, especially if you do some hard, like if you do some big lines like this, you'll get a soft edge pretty quick like that. And what happens, uh, well, it's not a soft edge. It's a, um, like a, it's like a big side, right? And so what happens is that makes it easier to like do, if you do a soft brush stroke, you're, you'll notice that your brush stroke is bigger. It's not a brush stroke. It's like a, whatever, a pastel mark. I don't know what you call it. I'm thinking painting. But if, if it's, if it's wide, if you have that wide, it's hard to see. It's like flat. It's there. You can see it. It's like wide. I can, I can, I can easily create this texture. It kind of has this kind of bumpy, soft texture. It's kind of nice. And, uh, it's easier to, to lay down that soft, um, texture if you have that flat edge. So keep that in mind. And then sometimes though, you want a sharp little line. So you kind of find a little corner, like you find a little corner and you can get thinner lines, right? So you can get thin lines. You can find that kind of like a Sharpie, right? Then you can find your flat side and you can get those nice, soft, softer lines. And then another thing you can do is you can do a gradient. So what you can do is this, you always want to start off soft. You can't start off real dark because you can't erase it. You can't make it light again. So it's always better to start off lighter and then build it up to make it darker. You can't, you can't make it light again, right? And so I can make this, I can make this a little darker just by kind of going over it a little more. You're like, oh yeah. Now, if I want this to blend into that, I kind of start off a little darker here, but then I kind of don't press down as hard and I kind of add some paint or well, oil pastel strokes and, and then, and I go and I just kind of blend it. So I kind of softly add some more and I, maybe I need a little more here little less over here as it blends into that. Here, I'm actually, I'm gonna blend past this line, so let's see. And then I'm going very lightly and you can get a, a blend or a gradient, right? A gradient meaning it's dark to light, value. Okay, looks pretty good. So that's the power of going light. You always wanna go light first because you can't, you can't erase. 
So it's easier to go light, and then if it's not dark enough, just make it darker. Okay, I need it to be a little darker. But you can't, I can't make that lighter. It's too late. So you always start light, and then you always add a little more. Make it a little darker later, maybe more. Okay, so remember that. Okay, so that's soft and um, hard. So you press down hard, you're going to get a very dark line. If you do soft, it's going to be soft. Usually it's better to go soft and then build it up to be darker. And then eventually you can really press down, but only when you need it to be very dark. Okay, Okay. Now, so that's it. So I mean, that's, that's the main. Soft and dark. Press down harder, it's darker. Very soft, like barely pressing down, it'll be soft. Okay. That's important. You think, ah, it's not that big of a deal, Mr. Smith. It's huge. It's like everything about oil pastels. Okay, so now let's talk about um, cleaning your... I already cleaned it. I, did, I already did another video for the fifth graders, and this thing was disgusting. Here, see. <laughs> um, I don't have any gross ones. But anyways, your white. Your white is probably disgusting. It's probably all brown and gray and gunky because all these other oil pastels are like kind of hitting it, and they're like... They're like rubbing off all their colors. And so it's like green, blue, red, brown. And it all just looks gray and brown and gross, right? So how do you clean it? Well, what you do is you have a scratch paper like this. And what you do is you just, um, see, this thing's already kind of clean. But you kind of just rub it. You just you basically do some marks until you get off there. You can see kind of a gunk mark. You just keep, you just keep um, marking uh, scratch paper until all the gunk on the tip of your white is clean. And you probably have to do it with some other ones. Let me see if I have any gross ones. I don't, they all look pretty good. Like I even cleaned my orange, but you can see there's kind of like gunk here, but see this is clean. So like you would just, again, you just, you just kind of, you just kind of mark it until all that goes off. And then another thing I do is I try to get it off. I try to get it off the edge. So I kind of like turn it like I kind of I kind of spin it a little to kind of get it off to kind of get it off those edges too. So, don't try to once it's pretty clean, if there's a teeny bit of hello focus. If there's don't go crazy, like I could probably clean that maybe, let's see. But like don't go crazy trying to perfectly clean it because if you keep rubbing it and using it, you're going to run out. Like you'll you'll whittle it away to nothing. Remember, we need to use this thing. It's okay if there's like a a teeny bit you just don't want your white, like the tip of your white, to look like that. Like, nope. Like, see, that's like, right? Don't clean the sides either. It's, there's no point. Your, your fingers are going to be gross, and they're going to, well, see? They're just going to get dirty again. Um, but you want the tip to be clean. Right? And then don't, we're not going to use white today, but but anyways, you just, you just kind of rub it, and you kind of get all the spots, and you're just going to rub all that gunk off. Okay, um, I don't have any other gross ones to show you. I think that's it, though. You get the idea. The yellow, my yellow's clean. Here, here you can see there's gunk. So again, you would just, you would just kind of clean it, just mark it until it's nice and clean. It's okay if the rest of it's gross. Now remember, remember how I taught you how to hold this? I mean, this thing's tiny. You could still use it if you hold it this way. That's for the starving artists. They don't let any art supply go to waste. Okay, so that's it. So let's, um, but that's, uh, we talked a lot about um, soft brush strokes and then hard. Usually we start soft and then we build up to dark. So we don't really go to dark. I showed you how to clean stuff. You just have a scratch piece of paper like this. And then when you're done, you just throw this thing away, right? I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so let's start right here. So here's our paper. Um, we already put our name on the back, so that's good. And let's see here. So the first thing, I'm going to put this out of view so that I can kind of, I can, uh, let's see here, what am I doing? Let's do it like this. Okay. So the first thing is, is we want to know where, where these leaves go. Like this thing's crazy stuff. Um, where do we go? Let's see. What do we want to use? I don't want to use, I want to use yellow. Oh, we kind of got to use a little bit of red. I don't want to use red yet. I want to use yellow. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of red. So we're going to use red, and we're going to be very soft about it. Okay, very soft. So the first thing is, is we got to figure out where, 
um, the center of our flower is, right? Like, see, look at this. So here it's like all the kind of flower petals were zoomed in super close, but like where the heck are those flower petals coming from? Well, we'll draw them, and then we got to draw this thing. This is the, I think this thing's called the stigma, I think. Um, and I think these are the stamen. I don't know. You'll tell me. You can tell me. You tell me correctly uh, what the anatomy of a flower is, right? Okay, so here we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to define um, where our flower petal is. So let's see. Let's do this one first. So starting, I can barely see it. Starting right here, it's going to go, we have a flower petal, and do it very softly. It's going to, ooh, oops, I, I screwed up already. Ha ha, I screwed up. It's going to go like this. It's going to curve. Like, see, because I went so softly here, like, I can just put oil pastel over that later. It kind of curves. And then it comes right, and it stops here. Oh my gosh, that's hard, Mr. Smith. It can be. Don't worry if you mess up a little. It's okay. Like, I messed up a little here. This is where our stigma is going to go. I don't know if I want to draw that yet. I guess I, I guess we do want to draw that. Okay, so we're going to draw that. Here we go. So again, so now I want to draw this thing. Okay, it's kind of scary. So let's see, where does it go? It goes like this. So starting here, this is kind of like the, the this goes into your flower, but we're not going to draw a circle there. So we're going to draw a curve. It's going to go like this. Lightly, right? Remember to do it lightly. And it curves down. Lightly. Lightly. So if you screw up, you can just... <laughs> you can't erase it, but... Okay, so now this thing needs to go further down. Let's see. It's going to go here. Okay. It's like, oh my gosh, that's hard to do. So you can just pause it and see where I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, now there's the, the top part. I got to draw the top part of this. So you just want to very carefully kind of follow. You want it to be the same thickness all the way around, right? Like you don't want to go, you know, okay. So you just go slowly. Let's see here. Okay. If you go lightly, you can always adjust your line. Well, kind of. Okay, so then it's going to curve down, right? Okay, so I lightly. So here I kind of messed up a little. Well, I can just... There's going to be shading behind it later. So you can kind of like... But remember, it's going to be... It's going to be light shading. Okay. Now what? So about right here. So think of this as this this thing, this like, it's like a tentacle. Um, it goes into this. This is kind of like a, like a leaf. Uh, well, it's like a petal, right? Now, there's gonna be there's gonna be four ovals here. So we've got an oval here. We have an oval here. We have an oval here. And then we have an oval here. Now, these should be kind of thin. Let's see. I can kind of go kind of like that. This probably could have been thinner. It wasn't very thin. Let's see. It's okay. Now, we're actually going to we're gonna lightly, we'll lightly color them in now. Lightly. 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 Later, we'll tighten it up a little. Meaning, tighten it up, meaning we will go back and try to rework re -work, work it a little bit. Okay, that's all good. Okay, so now we have, um, so we got this one. There is a, this, this is a, this is a flower petal that will continue down into here. So watch, it's going to go like this. So you can imagine it's like this. Actually, we don't want red up here. We just want a little bit of red here. And then it goes behind this thing, this tentacle thing. 
and then it curves here and then it goes down in there like that it goes they all go down into this this is like this is like the hole inside the flower like I, I, don't, I assume there's nectar in there although I think the the bees I don't they probably get it off of this stuff the pollen and all that jazz uh, but anyway so this connects from here complicated huh you're like oh, I can't do it sure you can sure you can and then this thing this thing kind of connects like this so that's like another like so here's a leaf behind it but remember, do it lightly because there's going to be a lot of yellow in here. So you can kind of see it. Complicated, huh? Okay. Now this thing kind of, this thing, oop, I screwed up. Oh, you couldn't, you didn't see my screw up. Okay, so it kind of goes like this. It kind of follows this. Now, there's going to, it's going to go up here a little bit. And then this is a, is a flower petal. So it's going to curve here. Like that. Okay. And then this is a flower petal, but we already have the line here, so we're just going to kind of make that kind of red. Notice how it's soft. I have that thick side, or it's kind of like a broad side, and it kind of gives me a nice soft. I'm not pressing down very hard. It's, you know, it's kind of, it's soft. That way, if we make a mistake, um, we can just kind of color over it. I mean, it's not perfect, but if you go super hard, I mean, that's super permanent. Okay, so now here's another... Okay, so what do we have here? We have... So we have this one. I'm going to make it a little darker. I'm just going to go along that edge. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm still not pressing down that hard. I just want it to be... All right? Okay. And then finally, um, I need this line. So it's kind of like this. It's going to connect here. So it's going to it's kind of going to connect on top of like on this tentacle thing here. So this is going to be another flower petal. It's going to be like a line here. So watch, I'll show you. It's going to go. It's going to go like here, and then it's going to curve, and it's going to go like that. So pause the video and you can kind of see it. So let's see. Can you see my whole paper? Let's see. It doesn't look like much at the moment. It just looks like wavy lines. But as we shade it, as we add more lines and details, it will look more um, like flowers. In fact, maybe we should just stick with the red for today. And then next week we will add the yellow. So what we want to do is, um, oh, by the way, if you mess up, just, just keep doing it. You can't start over. I can't give you another paper. We don't have time for that. So just try your best. If you don't like it, too bad. You may not like it. I don't care. I just want you to, if you follow, is this is, this is kind of tricky to do all this stuff. Um, but once you do all the shade, like you might notice your problems right now because there's only a few lines on the paper. I say this again and again, but no one ever believes me. We only have a few lines on our paper. So like if you make a mistake, like even I made some mistakes, like right here. But the more lines and shading that we do, you won't notice your mistakes anymore. It won't even matter. Like people won't even notice it. There'll be so many lines like this. There's going to be a million lines. A million. That's not a million. But there's going to be a lot. You're not even going to notice your mistakes anymore. Okay, so, but let's keep with the red. So, okay, so here's our leaf. We want to add a little bit of light shading in here. So it's going to be like this. Now, when we do it, we want to follow the form of the, the flower petal. So watch. Now, you don't want to go through your stigma, but you're going to go like this. You're going to follow that and lightly. And it's kind of okay to have some of these lines very lightly. Almost like hair. So that part, that's a shadow. That's kind of a little redder. Right? And then I just go on top of it. I remember, I'm starting to get a, a broad side. And I'm, very, I'm, I'm not even doing it very hard at all. It's very lightly. Okay. And then here, we want to go a little darker. But not that much darker. This isn't pressed down hard time. This is just kind of go over that spot a little more, like 
I'm still not, I'm, maybe I'm pressing down, not even medium yet. It's still kind of light. But I keep doing it kind of more here. And you can see it's getting a little darker. Now what happens is we don't want to go like full dark yet. We want to like gradually add the value, the dark and light values gradually. And then we kind of, they call it like you punch it up. Like you make it a little darker and you make the lights a little lighter. But we don't want to do that yet. We just want to get the overall look of our flower before we punch it up, before we really add those lights and darks and before that's kind of like the finishing move, <laughs> except in a nonviolent way. It's like the finishing moves where the darks get darker and the lights get, that's like the last thing you do, the, where you really kind of make those things happen. Okay. Now, so we have a shadow in there. Why? Because that petal is underneath this petal, right? Now there's a little bit of shadow coming out here, but, but let's not make it as dark as this. So, although it's kind of the same eventually, but let's go, let's go soft here. Now, remember, this is going to follow, it's following the form of that uh, petal. So it's kind of, kind of come out here light. It's okay if you can kind of see these lines like hair. Shoot though, I want it to be softer. It's not very soft yet. So I want to see if, oh, here, here. Okay. So let's see. I want to go softer. I got my bigger, broader side here. Yep. Let's see here. It's going to go like this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like coming out of that hole and uh, it looks, it creates depth. Like it, like it curves back inside of the flower. This is the inside, right? Oop, I got a, I got a sharp line, but that's okay. Like, it's kind of nice to have variety. I'm just trying, I'm trying to make it. Sometimes you can't fully control it. Like, sometimes you get a soft line. Sometimes it's kind of a hard line. Okay, that's pretty good for now. It's still not as dark as this. Like, I kind of, maybe I can make this just a little darker here. I just want to be able to see that there. Later, we'll add some brown. We'll make maybe a little bit of black. I didn't give you black. In fact, I think I'm going to do the black. I didn't give you black because my students always overdo the black. So you have a little bit of black in here. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to let you do it. You're like, Mr. Smith, I can totally do it. No, you'll do too much black. You always do it. Anyways, I'll just do it. And I didn't have to send home the black because like I'm sending home so many colors. Okay. So now we want to add a little bit of a shadow underneath this part. So we're going to go here. Remember soft. I'm barely pressing down. I'm barely pressing down. Just going to kind of build this up. In fact, the, the softer and the bigger, the Oil pastel stroke, the better. So that looks pretty good. Okay. But I want it to be a little darker on this edge. So again, I'm going to just go over that edge a little more, kind of go over it a few times so that that gets a little more solid and a little darker. See, you can kind of see it. And then maybe I can try to blend it. So like here, it's kind of an abrupt, it's like dark, lighter. So maybe I can get something in between there to kind of softly blend it. Yep. That's good enough for now. It's good. It's pretty good. Okay, I want to add a little bit of blending over here. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Lightly. I'm barely pressing down here. Barely pressing down. In fact, like I said, lighter is better. It looks darker on my screen. Let's see. And then I want this to be a little darker on this edge. So I'm going to go along this edge. Okay. Okay. And then there's going to be some lines coming out. So it's kind of like, let's see. What do we got? What do we have? So there's like, just like these lines, we're going to have a few, not as many here. So it's going to kind of, okay. And then it kind of comes out this way too. So it's kind of going to go like this. It curves, curves around almost like an eyelash. And it's going to curve and then eventually it's going to kind of match this thing. Like it's going to match this line, right? Okay. Later, we're going to build this up, but not right now. Maybe I'll build it up a little. How do I build it up? You, you, you go like halfway. So like you kind of, you just go halfway. You do those same kind of lines there, but don't worry about that for now. Later, we'll build that up some more. Okay. And then we can have, um, See this line here for this, it can be a little darker. So I'm going to press down kind of, let's see, 
kind of medium. I want to be able to see this line there. Okay. And then we're going to have the same thing, some of these lines, but leave a little bit of lighter color here. So watch, I'm going to go like here and it's, it's curving around. It's curving around and down. It's Okay, and then it's going to go kind of straight here, straight in the middle, well, straighter. But then I'm going this way, kind of like halfway, you're going to start going the other way, right? And then it's going to go the other way. Okay. Try not to make them cross. I made them cross too much. So here they don't really cross. Oops, I crossed them a little. That's okay. Okay, and then let's see. Um, we can, if this looks good, we can have this line a little darker. Only the bottom line, not the top one. So watch, I'm going to make this a little darker. I'm, now, I'm not pressing down very hard at all. I'm just going over this line again. You want to be very careful, and you want to follow that very carefully. Yeah. Okay, and I think are we almost done for the day? Let's see. Here, let's see. We're okay there. We want, we want some of these lines over here. Now, you don't want to go into your stigma. So you're just going to go, you're going to kind of stop before you get that thing. So we got some more. So this flower petal has some lines too. In fact, let's see, they're going to curve, they're going to curve this way. So let's see, it's going to be like this. Don't do too many. Don't do too many here. We want them more like right here. This is mostly going to be yellow eventually. Right now it's it's orange and a little bit of red. Okay, let's see. Are we done? Um, I think we are for today. So next, so for now, we're just um, very lightly kind of putting in our flower. Um, we're kind of, we're, we're building it up. Think of it as it's coming into focus, right? We added a little bit of dark here. Next time we'll, we'll go a little darker. Like I said, we'll punch it up a little, but only after we add our highlights, we got to add our highlights. So we'll add some yellows. We'll add some whites like this. I'll show you here. Let's compare them. Let's compare them like this. So you can see that when you do art, it's kind of like it's coming into focus. It starts off simply. You don't want to like fully detail this thing. You don't want to add in all these little details yet, because then when you try to do the yellow around it, it might interfere. Like these are kind of last. Those are like the fine little details, that's last. And usually the little white highlights, that's last. That's where you're punching it up, right? For now, we're just slowly, we're slowly like building this up. It's not even this dark yet. Next week, once we add some highlights, then we'll start making this a little darker. We'll make this a little lighter, darker, right? And then it'll it'll all start coming together. But for today, we've just begun, right? So so far so good. If you don't like if you don't like it, what you did, don't worry about it. Too bad, um, because you're focusing on. We didn't do a lot yet, and so you might be focusing on one mistake you did. It's easy to see because there's not a lot of strokes. But eventually there's going to be so many of these things that you're not going to focus on one little thing. You're going to see your whole picture, right? So, so don't worry about it. Um, don't st you can't start over. Just try your best. If you messed up, you're just going to work around it and just try your best. You're just going to try to get everything else as perfect as you can. Um, because, you know, this isn't necessarily easy either, but we're learning. We're also learning and um, we're, it'll be fun. Like, even if you don't like certain parts of it that look good, you'll like other parts that look good. And like I said, it'll be fun when we add these highlights and stuff. So, but that's it for today. So keep this in a safe place, right? Keep this in a safe place. Put your um, oil pastels back in their bag and then um, keep them safe. And then next week we have three weeks to work on this. So next week we'll add the yellows, um, add some more reds and maybe a little bit of brown. Um, we'll kind of, uh, we'll add more detail, we'll tighten it up a little, and um, we'll work on this some more. So we still have two more weeks to work on this. Hopefully this was interesting. Hopefully you weren't frustrated. Um, if you were, it's just, uh, don't worry about it. It's gonna be more fun. Um, and I, uh, I'll talk to you soon. So I hope you have a good week and I'll talk to you later. See you next time, bye.